Hey guys, welcome to another video with me. This is Negan and today I'm gonna show you 10 idioms that you can use to sound like a native English speaker. This video is really going to help you improve your vocabulary. So let's start. Number one, out of the question. That means it's impossible. It can't happen. It's not going to happen. For example, I don't have enough money. Buying a new car is out of the question. Number two, out of the blue. If something happened unexpectedly and you're surprised by it, it happened out of the blue. For example, out of the blue, she told me that she was moving to New York. I can't believe it! Number 3. Out of this world. It means it's amazing, it's fantastic. For example, my mother's cooking is out of this world. Number 4. Out of place. If you feel different or you look different from everyone else in the room, you can say, I feel out of place. For example, he looked out of place wearing a suit and tie at the beach party. Number five, your guess is as good as mine. It means, I don't know, I have no idea. For example, my friend and I were bored. My friend said, what do you want to do now? And I said, your guess is as good as mine. Number six, can't judge a book by its cover. That's obvious like don't judge people by the way they look. For example, my classmate was judging someone and I said, can't judge a book by its cover. Number seven, it's raining cats and dogs. It means it's raining very hard. For example, if the weather is rainy, you can say, it's raining cats and dogs. Number eight, to buy up more than you can chew. This means to take on a task that is too big. For example, if your friend takes an English class, an art class, and a math class together, and they're so hard for her, you can say, to bite up more than you can chew. Number nine, to cry wolf. It means call for help when you don't need it. For example, my new classmate is always crying wolf. Number 10, to cut to the chase. This means to leave out all the unnecessary details and just get to the point. For example, your friend is telling something and you want her to leave out all the unnecessary details. So you can say, cut to the chase. Thank you so much for watching my clip. I hope these idioms can really help you. Bye bye.